Welcome back. I didn't find the third thing because I'm lazy and I'm just gonna do it on screen. Like I said yesterday, I was gonna find it, but I didn't. Um, I was thinking about Joe Biden because I talked about him yesterday. And like how it's nice that I he does stuff and I, I can think, oh, I don't like that he did that or whatever. So here's something. Joe Biden's whole, his whole, his whole thing, is, I'm going to unite America. Or he says restore the soul of America, which is bas basically means like I'm not going to be a jerk, <laughs> like Trump is to people. Um, but if his if his stated goal is I'm going to unite America. I don't think his current approach is working. Do you? <laughs> Doesn't seem like we're getting more united. I know he's not president yet. Where's the third one? I can't find it. There's one, there's two. over there maybe probably gonna die look in these boxes there it is I did it right <clears throat> I don't think this approach is gonna work this whole like same old Democrat white guy um, the same old thing. I don't think it's going to work. Like, it works for me because that's what I want. But it's not going to work for the other half of the country who wants Trump. How is he going to unite those people? He's not going to do it by being like... It's not going to work. So what's the approach? Let's brainstorm. What should he do? If that's his main goal, n nothing else. Like, no policy. No, nothing else. If his main goal is to unite Democrats and Republicans, how are we going to do that? The first thing I thought of was, <laughs> what if he just acts like Trump, but does Democrat stuff? <laughs> so this would not work. I know, immediately, but no wrong answers, brainstorming. Um, Oh, what do I have to do here? Ah. There's like a... Oh, I did it. Okay. Ah. What are those things? Um... These little bugs. Ah! Shoot, I just fell. That's bad. That's not great. I can't see anything. I'm dead. Did I just die? I can't see anything. Am I not supposed to be able to see anything? Oh, okay. Get me out of here. Let's get some health back here. Um... So he acts like Trump, he like tweets, he's like mean to people, but maybe he's mean to everybody, like he's mean to Democrats, and he's mean to Republicans. Would that work? Would that unite everybody? If I was Joe Biden, what would I do? And my main goal was to unite Democrats and Republicans and make them not like on the verge of a civil war, which I don't think is going to happen, but <laughs> but if that's the goal, um, you know what I could, would consider doing? 
which is easier than trying to come up with some grand master plan, is to get everybody to hate me. I mean, that didn't really work for George Bush. George, Everybody hated George Bush, and then during 2008, it's like, okay, we're back to just 50-50. If, you, if you're a Republican, you like Republicans. If you're a Democrat, and they just hate each other. But like, don't do anything irreparable, but just make everybody hate you. And be like, um, is this that a good plan? No, okay, no wrong answers. Is this gonna be the episode? I guess so. I have like a million different notes, but I'm doing this. <laughs> what would a, that's what that's what I would do because I'm not smart enough. But what some what would somebody smarter than me do to unite America? For reals. I finally listened to Trump's inaugural speech or like his victory speech. I listened to it a little bit. I couldn't listen to the whole thing still. Maybe after he's out. Um, I wasn't expecting him to say this, but he was saying the same things you're always supposed to say. I know it's because somebody else wrote the speech for him. And then once he was kind of like riffing, he would start to be like racist and terrible. Um, and what, when somebody else wrote the speech, he would, but he was saying like the things. We need to unite. We need to be, there's no left, there's no right, there's only Americans. There's no red, there's no blue. There's no black, there's no white, there's no colors, no more colors anymore. I'm president now, so no more colors, but he didn't say that. <laughs> uh, where's the thing? Where's the crystal? This dark world is so dark, I can't see anything. So when I heard those things, Trump say those things, I wanted to barf, because I'm like, he's not being genuine. He's being like, he's lying about like, Oh, like, you know, you really want to unite America? So, that's exactly what people who like Trump are thinking about Biden when he has his victory speech. And he's like, I want to unite America. Everybody join the party, left to right, middle. You, you, we're all going to be happy together. Republicans don't believe that. So they feel the same way about that. I don't know why. I don't know why people hate Biden as much as people hate Trump. It doesn't make sense to me, but it's true. And that's where we, where we live right now. Okay. I did it. Mm -mm, I did it. Um, so if you really want to be the unity person, I mean, maybe you can talk a little bit about unity, but you got to do more. What? But what? What does he have to do? This is interesting. What's this? I notice I haven't I never really noticed this before, but I touch my hair a lot when I when I watch back the videos. I'm like, why am I touching my hair so much? I don't know. Just something to do. <laughs> I got the light beam and the dark beam. Cool. What did it say? Dark enemies with dark beam. Oh. Oh, that's weird. I just wandered around and somehow I found something. That's cool. 
Um, better know. Maybe I should just give up. I'm not running for president. Why do I have to work harder than the president is working to figure this out? How do we solve unity? I mean, it is true. Like, if we could all get behind certain policies, we could get a lot of stuff done. Like, we could be... Instead of just being like, well, 50-50, and then we never do anything. It's hard. Because there are things that I care about, like global warming. Global warming. If the president doesn't do anything about that, I'm not going to like him. But there are people who think we shouldn't do anything about global warming. So if you do something about global warming, they're going to hate you. So how do you solve that problem? You just don't do anything. No, because I'll hate him. Because he has to do something about global warming. It's impossible. <laughs> Is it? Everybody like Ronald Reagan. <clears throat> Why am I? I can't talk. Everybody liked Ronald Reagan. That's my new um, <laughs> tongue twister. <laughs> Everybody liked Ronald Reagan. It helps, I don't know, it helps that you're not Trump. I mean, that's, you can't be Trump. Trump is not the unity person. He's, he, he'll never, nobody like him will ever bring America, America together. I know that for a fact. But I don't think Biden's approach is working either. I mean, we haven't seen it yet. He's never been president before. So we'll see, but I don't have too much faith that we're all going to be like, not just angry at each other all the time. It's just Twitter. Just get rid of Twitter. We shouldn't be on Twitter. No politicians on Twitter. And no people on Twitter. No, everybody get off Twitter. Because, ah, should I read you Trump's tweets today? He's insane. He's an insane person. And I do see Democrats who make tweets like this, and I don't like it when they do it. He's going after Fox News now. Can you believe that? Fox News daytime ratings have completely collapsed. Weekend daytime, even worse. Very sad to watch this happen, but they forgot what made them successful what got them there they forgot the golden goose what is he saying he's the golden goose the biggest difference between 2016 election and 2020 the news thing that's a big thing we need to fix the news thing so if biden can do that that'll go a long way nobody none of the republican people trust the news it's all fake how do you solve that problem that's a problem a lot of it's not a minority it's a lot of people who think this way it's definitely a majority of republicans um <laughs> why is that why is uh well, I think it's fair to say most, a lot of, um, a lot of news is left-leaning. I don't know. I gotta find a portal. Get out of this place. Gotta get out of here. Turn around. Maybe democracy is just bad and we'll never 
fix it. Because as long as you have a say in the government and you get to vote, you'll always feel like it, it could be better. And the only thing that's stopping you, stopping the world from being better, are the people who are voting different from you. Your, your fellow man. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm a Christian. Jesus talked a big game about um, living under the government and like you're supposed to be respectful of the government and you're supposed to do what they say. But that was easy for Jesus because it wasn't a democracy. I don't, I, I don't know. Did, Rome wasn't a democracy. No, it wasn't. Render under Caesar. What is Caesar's? It's harder, Jesus. In a democracy, it's harder. It's so easy to just be like, oh yeah, the Caesar tell, gives us all the rules and we have to follow it because you can't change that. What are you gonna do? You can't fight Caesar. But in a democracy, you, you can change things. And so it's stressful when things are still bad and, you, and you're kind of responsible for it because you're the one who, and you're like, oh, I didn't pick this guy. Well, I picked him, but it was it was just because there wasn't any better choice. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Democracies are stressful. And I think I think I think democratic leaders need to address that in a way. I don't know, democracy is a way of like the king saying like, Well, I don't know, you guys decide what to do. Were you so mad at me all the time? You guys just figure it out. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I got something. What does that do? I don't care about that. Ammo supply. I need to save. Is today over? Yes. Do you ever just get a pain in your brain and you think you're dying? Because my head hurts. What is that? Ow. It hurts so hurts in my eye <laughs> it's a tumor I'm dying okay what did I talk about today he went crazy just like retweeting a bunch of <laughs> he's like all these people who are saying you need to leave Fox News and, and watch this Newsmax thing God knows what that is. It's kind of cool. I mean, <laughs> he retweeted all these people. Uh, let's see if I can find a good one. This guy. He's got 170 followers. And the President of the United States retweeted him. <laughs> he said... Um, he, 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 okay, there was, oh god, what did he do? His response says everything. Newsmax and OAN are all we got for now. The president retweeted him. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow we'll talk about the voter fraud thing. Yeah, I'll do that tomorrow. I need to, I just thought of something. I have to write it down. Uh, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>